Hi guys, I'm Pobcak and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials in how we're going to push the boundaries of the Blueprint Designer using some recent discoveries me and my Twitch community have made. So over the course of these videos, you're going to learn the basics of Blueprint Extension, how we can modify items outside the Designer, and how we can join Blueprints together with belts, pipes and hypertubes. If you'd like to see more content like this, please click the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload the next video in the series and come join us over on Twitch during one of my live streams. So welcome in, sit down, grab a coffee, get comfy. and Let's begin our mystery tour into the wonderful world of blueprints. In this video, we're gonna be just covering the basics of blueprint extension and how it completely changes the way we think about building blueprints in the future. So what is it? How does it work? If we think of a normal blueprint, they're isolated and separate and not really joined into our factories until we link them in. However, with blueprint extension, we can think of a series of interconnected blocks in a 3D space. So within our standard blueprint designer, there's a couple of basic rules we need to follow when we're placing blueprints or creating them. Uh, one, nothing can be placed outside or across the boundary line of the designer and count as part of a valid blueprint. So we can't place a foundation across the line here. We can't place a foundation outside it and it count as part of the blueprint. Um, if we place another blueprint on top of this, uh, we can't have the center point outside of the designer either. So there's a couple of exceptions to that. One of which is the new patch, which allows us to place pillars on the corner, which theoretically can cross that line. So that, that's one exception. There's, there's a couple of others as well. Um, so we can use those rules to actually build stuff outside the bounds of the blueprint designer. So if we create a foundation on this side and another one on this side and then save that as a blueprint, we get something a bit like this. If we try and move that out, we get the red line, so it says, nope, can't save that. However, if we keep going, and we get to the outer edge, our center point is still within the confines of the blueprint designer, and it's allowed us to place it because we don't have anything physically touching this boundary line, or crossing it, rather. If we then place it on the other side, we now have a, a long blueprint. And if we remove these two, so if this is the blueprint, we can then extend out further and further and further and further. And we're at about two kilometers out now with a blueprint and still going. So how useful is this? What can we do with it? Um, well, for foundations, it's great for building um, big platforms with because we can combine them. So if we place a blueprint of one of our ones here and here and here and then again here and here and just on the corner points uh, what was that one we go here So we'll just place them on all those bits. We've now created a nice five by five grid outside the blueprint. Actually, we've created two. So technically we could save that as a blueprint and we've got two huge platforms and then we can save that as a blueprint and then twist it round. And we've then got four five by five grids and then we can shift those up. So if I save this as a blueprint, So I'll clear that, uh, save it here, 
we'll start around using the mouse wheel. And then we'll save this as a blueprint. Now then, if we use that as our base layer, so we'll place one down. If we then use a painted beam to extend up from here, so if we go up for, what, 12 meters or so, we can place another blueprint on top of this beam and extend up. And then again, another 10 meters. We've now got quite a useful space as a single blueprint. So foundations aren't the only thing we can we can put on this and use this method with. Uh, we can do with constructors, so we can, as long as we balance them out, it works. So we can have a constructor tower like this, <laughs> which we can even go above the confines of the blueprint designer with because we're not physically touching the top of the blueprint designer. What we've used to do this hasn't touched the blueprint designer and the center point is still within the blueprint designer. So technically we could shift this up and slot in another set underneath and just keep going and going and going. And you can do the same going outwards as well. So you could create a row of constructors, a row of smelters and shift physically shift them up. So I can, I can show you that. So if we think of how we're going to build our factory, so we want our smelters first and then our constructors on the inside of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here and select our smelter and face it inwards. And we're going to do the same the other side as well. And save that as a blueprint. So we're going to put like SM1. And then we're going to use the same technique for shifting that out. So we'll shift that out to there. And there. Like that. We can remove these ones in the middle and save this as a new blueprint. And clear that. And then shift that out. And the center point is still within the blueprint designer, so that's fine. And then we can place, we'll leave that as is because I only want to do it on one side at the moment. So we've got our smelters out. So if we then do our constructor line, which we created earlier, uh, which is this one here, I've only got three in there at the moment, which is fine, but we can line that up. And if we push that back to about here, we've then got a row of smelters and a row of constructors all ready to go on a bigger blueprint scale. And again, we can rotate those. So that's the basics of Blueprint Extension. Um, join us next time where we'll be covering how we can join these blueprints together. Um, and yeah, thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you've uh, enjoyed the content. And uh, see you in the next time. Bye, guys.